What's up, Survival? It's Jason here. Today, I'm going to try to make a new spindle and hearth board for my friction fire testing. Now, I am no professional at this at all. I actually only had smoke and not enough of like an ember to actually get a fire going. So I'm just testing a whole bunch of different woods and seeing which works best for me and trying to see which ways I could make a better fire. I know I need a spindle at least like that size, or so hang 10, and that's the size you will usually need for a build drill. And the hearth board needs to be about the same size of the spindle. So this is my original spindle that I had. This is actually just off of a branch. You can still see the bark off of it. And I, it hasn't really worked out for me. I only got smoke, and this is the original hearth board that I used. It's just a normal wooden stake that I actually just found out in the desert wash. And it hasn't worked out at all. And one thing I noticed, it's, I guess it's a little bit too thick. It's about the same size, but I, the dust doesn't get up as much into here and get enough friction to heat it up. So I'm going to try to make a new and better and compact one right here. This is most likely, I'm going to try to make a hearth board out of this and I don't know if I could salvage something long enough because it's a little bit curved because it bowed a little bit when it was drying. But I'm gonna try my best to uh, get a good spindle off of this. And if I don't succeed on this, I have some juniper and some other pine that I have stacked up over there, and I can just try it from there. And the one bearing block that I'm using is from Jerry Pruitt. He's gifted me a little bearing block that's actually a rock and worked well for actually keeping the friction off of it. My original one was actually a little splint shotgun shell or just a little PC, PVC pipe and has like a little candle hole on there so the friction stops but I found out the hole didn't really help at all so I'm gonna be uh, trying to cut up a good piece of this and uh, I'll get back to you
Alright. I think I might be done with this little hearthboard. It is compact, much more smaller than this piece. <laughs> Quite a bit thinner. It's kind of arced a little bit, but sitting down this way, it doesn't affect it really much. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to try this side first. Because it's a little bit smaller, and I needed like a good dust pile to build up from that side. That was the problem with this one. The dust pile was not getting as high. So I'm going to try it with this little hearth board. And uh, let's get on to the spindle. Alright, so as you can tell from the core right here, it's already pretty cylinder. So if I could get to the core, maybe I can make a good little spindle. But if not, I could just like expand it a little bit and then actually like cut into it and make a really good spindle. So let's get on to spindle. First, let's get off all the bark. I think I need it about that size. Get back with the pound stick. This little piece. That knot right there is not going to be fun. And the cat's on fire again. Ah, no! La. Okay, so I need it at least that size. So I'm gonna cut around here. Actually, since it's like curved, starts to curve right at this knot, I might have to do it there instead of like another inch. But I'll just do this. I I don't want to do that because it will fracture it, and a fracture spindle is not good. What is a fracture spindle? So close. I could almost feel the heat of the spindle. Oh wait, that's just the sun. Looks like it's starting to take some shape. I just need to carve it a little bit better. Get it into the actual like little cylinder. 
and we'll be set for a little spindle. Alright, one thing I noticed that I've kind of forgot about was these little fracture pieces when I tried to uh, baton through it. So, I'm either I'm going to have to uh, saw that off, and hopefully it doesn't fracture it anymore, or just try to cut through it, and hopefully it doesn't really do anything. Got to think through that. Okay, I'm just going to chop through it, and uh, hopefully it doesn't fracture, because it's just going to be the tip right there. That's going to be uh, either the flatter end that goes into the hearth board or the sharp part. I'm not quite sure yet which one is going to be which and which one is going to have more pressure. Hmm. I think this side should be the one with the uh, hearth board end on it. So I'm going to chop this up and uh, hopefully we get a spindle. Alright. You can see getting even smaller I want at least maybe a quarter size I know it's gonna be thicker than the actual hearth board because I don't know it seems like it'd be much more better that way maybe I don't know but I guess we'll try it out alright a little tip for uh, when you're trying to cut out some good chunks out of some wood is instead of just actually like pushing down and possibly hitting the ground and messing up your edge on your knife make the knife stationary and pull the wood towards you it takes off wood just as effective as it would if you're trying to put it down so that saves your edge on your knife great little tip if you want to uh, try to build something and save your edge you know, since most of the curve starts at the knot, as you can tell right there, and if I just maybe saw it off right below the knot, it might actually help, but that leaves me with a smaller spindle. And it's already at the right size, but it's kind of getting hard to, uh, get it curved just right or like just cutting just enough so it's this way but cutting against the grain on some other other sides it's getting pretty uh, wonky so I just may saw right there I'll just spare you the moments and uh, I'll just saw it without recording it Alright, here's the spindle so far. You can see it's a pretty good size for like probably a nickel size probably. But after cutting into it a little bit to try to make this point, I just realized right here if it focuses is fat wood. Huh. <laughs> A very small part of it and that's why I thought this was just like the core of it like a harder core and I just realized that's actually fat wood <laughs> so this spindle may not work because I know it's not supposed to be like a resinous type of wood you still have a wood that is supposed to be resinous but it can't have resin in it but I have seen people light a fire with fat wood with a friction fire. I saw it in some video before. I don't know. So I may have to find another piece of pines. Probably one of the smaller pieces in my uh, little stack that I have. And uh, we'll see what I can scrounge up.